Fixing Tigger's tone drawing is really sweet. This gives us Tigger and Kanga and I feel like as a pair we don't often see them together and that's a little bit of a shame because they're both bouncers and I think they could have a lot of energy and a lot of fun and this episode or this, this vlog definitely gives a, a little indication of that. Kanga approaches Tigger and gives him a drawing. And the drawing is of Kanga and Tigger. And Tigger's all excited because, as he says, it looks like they're bouncing together. And it's really good fun and really beautiful. And, of course, that's a really lovely thing for Kanga to do, to give Tigger a drawing. Unfortunately, Tigger gets a little overexcited. And he tears the drawing. And he becomes really upset. Very, very well written. We have a lot of Tigger phrases. For example, he says, that's what Tiggers don't like best. Of course, a modification of something Tigger usually says. And Kanga is able to provide him with some hope because she says that actually they can fix the drawing. And she does. She gets some tape and she puts the tape across the middle and fixes it. And it all looks good. To be honest, my instinct was to not use tape. It would have been to use glue, to glue the pictures onto another piece of paper. And then you wouldn't have the tape across the middle. And I feel like that would have been a better solution. But nevertheless, the tape does work still the same. And ultimately, the most important part is that Tigger is very, very happy. And as he says, it looks like they're bouncing together again. So it's absolutely adorable. Very, very well animated. We get a close-up of the picture at one point, which was really nice to see. And I really like the animation style of the actual picture that Kanga gave to Tigger. The animation style of the, the actual episode, of course, is very, very good. And it's nice that it's encouraging hope if something goes wrong. If you do rip a picture, don't worry. There's probably a solution. So don't let it affect you. Think about it instead and come up with a way to resolve the problem. But there is also a lesson in here that's not necessarily in your face, but it's certainly there. And that's the fact that you need to be careful. Tigger, as we know, is a very excitable, high energy character most of the time. And he doesn't really think things through. He's not a very sensible character. So there is a little lesson there that you need to be careful, otherwise something might get ripped or damaged. But at the same time, if that does happen, don't worry. There is probably a way to fix it. It's a sweet little episode, very well animated. Kanga and Tigger are really delightful together, and I really enjoyed this one. Fixing Tigger's torn drawing is very sweet, and if you're a fan of Winnie the Pooh in general, or specifically Tigger and Kanga, then I'd say it's one that's worth watching. I just got to the end of this and realized I don't think I mentioned that this is an episode of me and Winnie the Pooh. It is. It's part of me and Winnie the Pooh, and it's an absolute delight. Definitely worth watching.